Hey, what's going on guys? It's Fun Guy here and today we got a new unboxing. We will be unboxing the Wonder Woman figure from Batman v Superman Dawn of Justice. On the left top hand side you can see a nice picture of Batman and Superman which honestly that kind of doesn't look like Henry Cavill to me but that strangely does look like Ben Affleck. And diagonally below them you can see the Batman v Superman Dawn of Justice logo. You've got a nice window displaying Wonder Woman nicely and her accessories. And below it, you can see that, of course, it is Wonder Woman and it's for ages 3 and up. Turning over to the back, you see the Batman v Superman logo. And you see Wonder Woman displayed very nicely and it does include her sword and shield. And off to the side, you can see all the other toys within the range. Though I'm not really sure why Superman would need a shield. That's a little bit gimmicky. And directly below that, you just have a bunch of legal fundum carbon. And that's about it for the packaging guys. Let's go ahead and open it up and take a look at the toy itself. Okay guys, so here we have Wonder Woman out of her box. And I have to say, this looks pretty decent. The head sculpt looks excellent. This looks almost like Gal Gadot as if she were a younger version or Barbie mixed. <laughs> each hair strand is perfectly sculpted as each strand is draping down from her back and then you see more strands draping down from the sides of her shoulders. However, I do wish they would have given the tiara a little bit more work. It just looks like it's sculpted into the headpiece which looks kind of ugly to me but it's still pretty decent detail to say it's part of the head sculpt. The corset looks pretty decent with all that once again perfect attention to detail is in the movie. It even protrudes around to the back and we get that awesome detail which they did not have to do but I'm so glad that they did. Usually with an action figure like this you don't get all that awesome attention to detail and all that awesome sculpting work. The strap itself is one piece and has been excellently sculpted and put onto the figure in this awesome way. They have it to where her head sculpt keeps the strap on her body and it even protrudes around to the side to the lasso of truth. The lasso of truth is also sculpted into the strap itself. The skirt looks awesome as it has been this one separate sculpted piece and then looks like it has been probably melted or molded onto Wonder Woman herself. But overall, this looks like just one molded piece that has been put onto her. It looks like a separate piece, which is excellent. The Wonder Woman logo has been uh, printed and molded onto the skirt. And once again, protrudes around to the back with all these little folds and pleats making it look like the actual fabric from the movie. The armband has this awesome sculpting detail. But the paintwork is a little messy here, but I'll let that go seeing as how there's not a lot of paint protruding out from the area it's supposed to. Also, the armbands look pretty decent and we get some awesome sculpting work which they did not have to include. For a figure this size, this is awesome attention to detail. Her boots look pretty decent and have been sculpted and painted excellently, if that's even a word. The boots look pretty decent. They start from her legs and they go down to the actual boots themselves which have this awesome sculpting work. They look just like out of the movie, except without all the awesome paint detail, which I understand can't be included because this is just a little child's play toy. So articulation wise, Wonder Woman cannot turn her head at all. She can't even nod up and down because her health sculpt restricts this. The arms can do a full 360 degrees. They have a pivot joint on the elbow that is very stiff. But unfortunately, there is no pivot joint at the wrist. I am disappointed. Wonder Woman's legs can kick back and forth slightly because her skirt, once again, restricts this. There is a knee joint that can bend out to 90 degrees. But there is no pivot joint, once again, on the foot. And the bottom of each foot has a peg hole. And, well, that's all for the figure. I'm sad to say that you can't really put her in very many action poses. Wonder Woman does however come with two accessories, her sword and her shield. The shield straps onto Wonder Woman very easily. The shield has these clips that can be clipped on to her arm to where it is held in place firmly and her other hand, either hand really, is molded to hold her sword. So overall, what do I think of this toy? Well, it's an okay collectible despite having very little articulation. 
I am, however, disappointed that the lasso of truth was not an accessory, as this would have been a really great idea in giving kids more sensibility of play. I'm also insulted by the fact that there is no clip on the back of Wonder Woman's strap, enabling us to clip her sword and shield, considering that the shield does have clips, so we'd be able to clip it on like in the movie. And yes, also the box may be a little bit warped, but a buddy bought this for me as a Christmas present, and it's been sitting in his car since Christmas, so the box is a little bit warped, but I thank him very much. If you guys want to go check out his channel, his link will be down in the description below. He plays games such as Fallout 4, Titanfall, Monster Hunters. If you're into that kind of gaming, go check out his channel, and once again, guys, the link is in the description below. As always, guys, if you guys like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and share it with all your Wonder Woman buddies. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button for all things superhero related on this channel. And until next time, guys, I am It's Fun Guy, and I'll catch you on the flip side.